you remember the first time that you met Kobe? Man, yeah, I do remember the first time I met Kobe, man. First time I met Kobe, I was 14 years old. He's 15. You're I was on a 14? team. With, yeah, I was on a team with Sham God Wells. He's only one year older than me. So I was on a team with Sham God Wells and RIP Kobe. He's competitive. I love Kobe. Um, and, and Shaheen Holloway, Sham God Wells, and, uh, and my, my boy from my hood, Dwayne Edwards. We call him Skip. Um, and a couple other people. Oh, man, Raheem Johnson. And then Kobe, and I don't even know him. I think Arthur, um, Arthur, this famous guy back in the days, high school days, I forget his last name. Man, I wish I knew his last name. Maybe Rip Hamilton was on that team. Maybe Remember Rip Hamilton was on that team. team. Was it a travel team or what was it? It was their team versus our team. We from New York Got City. It. Got it. Um, they was from well, Philly, I guess, right? So they kept saying, you know, we're playing against the next Grand Hill. And I ain't know who the next Grand Hill. I ain't know Kobe at that time. I don't know who the hell. And honestly, I didn't even know his name until like maybe a, a year or two later. Because I never really watched basketball that much as a youngster. But anyway, he had about, he had about 30 going into the fourth. And then they, I was a young dude. I was on a bench. But then they said, Meta, go get him. Ron, go get him. And he had like six to eight points on me. He scored. But, you know, I was always an elite defender. He was cooking, yo. You know, I'm sure when he played against me, he definitely worked on his game because the way, the way I was guarding him, I was young. You know, it was like, if you want me to get off you, then you have to throw a punch at me. It's the only way. Kobe, he kept playing. He kept playing and kept playing. And I kept on him, kept on him. And he, he had about like six to eight points on me, but he said he had 12 points on me. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Kobe, you said you had 12, you had 12. You definitely didn't score 12 at that point in time when you was 15 years old. Now, but, um, how do you think, what were the most significant differences from his game then as to what he improved on over the next couple It was the same. It was the same. To, to me, it's the same level because it's the same level. Same level. Wow. What do you think uh, the biggest lesson that you picked up from him was? I think you might have cut out there for a second. One second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, I was just asking, what, what's the biggest lesson you think you picked up from Kobe throughout, you know, your time together with the Lakers? The biggest, well, the thing was, like, what? Well, when I got to the Lakers, I wanted to win a title. I knew we could win a title. I knew we had LeBron James on the other side, you know, and that was it. I was, I was focused on a couple things, you know, um, and, and that's why I got up to – I got up to about – I knew when, once – I always, I always knew I was going to play against LeBron in the playoffs because I was in Indiana. He was in – so you know this is going to happen. If it wasn't for my suspension, you know we was definitely going to meet each other in the playoffs. So my thing was when LeBron got into the league, I said, the only way I'm going to win the title is if I beat this guy. And – and um, so I started to get bigger. And th then I got – and the one game I played against LeBron during the brawl year, we had a game in Cleveland. He was young. He had 20-plus. I had 31. He might have had 34. I had 31. Something like that. This is when I was go-to guy, that, you know, ball going to me. Going to me. Um, when I left, I was only seeing LeBron like twice a year. I got to lose weight I'm not even playing against this guy anymore. I, I, I didn't even think I was going to be in the league, tell you the truth. So I'm like, I, I just got to be in shape.